I come from a very modest family. My parents had a shoe store. Work was part of my life, but also at the same time, when you have a family that is there to support you, it's not like work. It is just to have a good family with friends around you and a fantastic community. Very soon I realized the importance of the financial sector. I knew that if you want to achieve something, you need to master finance. When I started in accounting, it was in the 80s, so less than 5% of the students were women. So it was quite challenging, I have to say. And I think that I was one of the first to be um, very engaged in the accounting profession. And in fact, I was uh, appointed partner very soon. I was among the first female partners in the firm in Canada. And I was the first um, chair of the board of the uh, CPE Association in Quebec. Now, the good thing is that I was the first, but I was not the last. Mais quand tu fais la piste et puis qu'il y en a d'autres par la suite qui te suivent, tu te dis, ben, t'espères l'avoir bien fait, puis ça a donné confiance à d'autres, qu'il y en a d'autres qui vont bien le faire. I joined the Jardin Group uh, at the beginning of 2000, leading all the subsidiaries of Desjardins as CEO of the insurance companies, mutual funds and asset management in the eastern part of Canada, especially in Quebec. If you remember, September 2008, different failures of major financial institutions happened at that point in time. And my role was to lead Desjardins at a time of a financial crisis that was very unpredictable uh, with major decisions that had to be taken that was, in fact, sometimes almost in contradiction with the way this highly decentralized organization was run. I think that um, this is one of the examples as a female partner with EY, but also as chair of the board of the um, uh, accounting association that I was able to help other women to be able to take the lead and be very successful. It means a lot to be a member of the Horacio Alger Association of Canada. I feel that I'm privileged and hopefully I will be able to contribute and help young people to be, I would say, better leaders in the world that we live in.